It's R vs Python. In this video, we will compare how to create type 3 ANOVA tables in R and in Python. We will be using fake cancer data with survival days as the response variable and gender and cancer type as factors. We will also include the interaction of gender and type. So sit back and relax while we compare how to create ANOVA tables in R and Python. We will do this split screen with Python right here on this side and R over here on the right side. So let's start with importing things in R. We'll go ahead and import the car package. Over here in Python, we are gonna import a few things. We'll go ahead and import pandas as PD. And then we'll do statmodelsformula.api as smf and let's import statmodels.api as sm now going back over here to r let's go ahead and load the data so we have this fake cancer data in a txt file so we'll do cancer2.txt as a read.table and we'll put header equals true so it takes that first row as the header as you can see here with that output let's go ahead and delete that now in Python, we will use pandas to read in the txt file. We'll use the read underscore csv to do this. In order to get it to separate by space, we will use a regular expression, so slash s plus. And pandas will automatically make the first row a header. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And then let's get rid of that. Okay, going back to R. Let's turn gender into a factor. In R, we do this by reassigning the column to itself, but as a factor. In Python, it will work the same way, but instead of a factor, we will change it to a categorical by converting it to a string. So we'll use the dot as type string. Now really quick for R, to make these labels more nice and a little bit easier to read and compare, I'm going to quickly define variables for each column. And gender. Now we are prepared to create ANOVA type 3 tables in R. Let me just make some more space here. We type LM for linear model and inside we will put the response variable followed by the factors added together. We include an interaction here as well. Next we specify the data so data equals data and lastly for type 3 we need to specify contrast. We will make that a list with type as contr.sum and gender as contr.sum. Now to see the table, we type ANOVA with a capital A. This is where the car package comes into play, by the way. And we give the linear model and type as parameters. And there it is. Now to create the type 3 ANOVA table in Python, we use the stats modules formula OLS. This will be similar to R, but with quotes around it, kind of like a big string. For type 3, we put a capital C, then the column name sum. We'll do that exact same thing for the interaction as well. Lastly, we take that linear model and put it in sm.stats.anova underscore linear model and we specify the type as type three. And there it is, the exact same table. So there you have it. That is how you can create an ANOVA type three table in R and in Python. Please check out some of my other videos about Python and don't forget to hit subscribe.